this could work. Uh, it probably will work fine, but it's just, well, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Sugar broke. There you go. That's what we're going to call these. We're going to be diving into Kent Williams' sugar brick recipe. Sugar bricks are used to emergency feed colonies in winter that are low on stores, and some beekeepers use them just to have an insurance policy onto the colony or to wick maybe excess moisture in the hive. And as that pulls it into the brick, that helps eliminate moisture maybe from accumulating and dripping down on the bees. It also softens the brick up just a little bit to where the bees can take it in a little bit faster. We're going to talk more about the sugar brick after this video. There's a lot to sugar bricks, especially ones that have a lot of additives in them. If you want to see a sugar brick that is a plain Jane, which in my opinion is the best sugar brick, then you can look down in the top comment below and you'll see a video on how you easily can do that. Let's start making these sugar bricks. So in this bucket right here, I have 25 pounds of cane sugar. I'm gonna be using a quart of apple cider vinegar with this recipe. And then I'm gonna be using three tablespoons of citric acid. And I'm gonna be using um, three tablespoons of Hive Alive. However, Kent Williams recipe, I'm gonna leave it right here in the video. It calls for three tablespoons of Honey Bee Healthy. However, I don't have that product. And the product is used as a stimulant um, to help the bees, you know, smell it. Because sugar doesn't have a lot of smell. But I don't have that, so I'm going to use Hive Alive. I've already mixed the citric acid and the Hive Alive product together. And let's go ahead and mix this. Boy, that apple cider vinegar. Mm -mm. Now, we will talk about why some of these ingredients are in here towards the latter part of the video. And we'll also show you as we place this onto colonies. Yeah, just like wet sand. And whew, that smells really strong right now of apple cider vinegar, my. And also has some of the smells of Hive Alive. Again, uh, Kent Williams recipe is a little bit different. I'm confident that this will be just fine. However, I just did not have any honey bee healthy on me. There is some differences though. Um, this smells more like thymol. It does have, I believe, some lemongrass in it. Let me check real quick. It has some, yes, lemongrass oil. And it has uh, thyme and a few other odds and ends like dried seaweed. It's supposed to be helpful. But um, the honey bee healthy definitely smells more like lemongrass. So from maybe a stimulation standpoint um, the honey bee healthy might be better if that's the whole purpose of it is to attract the bees to the sugar brick if you're making a sugar brick the traditional method then you're just going to pack this in and whoo apple cider vinegar and you just want to pack it in really good and then we're going to stick it in the oven here in just a minute So we've pulled the sugar bricks out of the oven. We gave them the whole time, two hours plus some time because we had some issues. I've never experienced this before in a sugar brick recipe. Maybe some of you can comment below and let me know if you've seen this before. With a recipe, the only sugar brick recipes that I've used in the past were literally just water and just sugar and not a lot of water. And the water just bakes right on out of the sugar and you're left with a concrete filling of a brick with no other issues. I ended up putting at least a cup's worth of syrup slash liquid in the bottom of my wife's oven, so yay me. Um, I know what I'm going to be doing later. So check this out. And I mean, the thing of it is we left it for two hours at 180 degrees or like 82 degrees Celsius, I believe it was. And still, look at this right here, how soft that is. And we left it in for the two hours and then because it was ha having these issues right here, we let it sit in there as it cooled off. So it had the whole cool down time in the oven as well. So, I mean, it must've been hot in there for at least another hour or so. And it's still, I mean, just tons of gummy. The whole top layer of this is just real soft. 
and it shouldn't be scrapable like that. I don't understand what's going on. This is a really thin pan as well. Now that's getting harder, but that's not a sugar brick right there. I'm not saying that this won't work to feed bees, but this is not what I expect in a sugar brick. This is not what I'm accustomed to. The only thing I can figure is it's the apple cider vinegar because the citric acid was dry, some type of chemical reaction there. And I know that Kent has mentioned that he just mixes it up and packs it on the hive on top of newspaper, um, like I did in this video right here. But it's just um, not what I expected at all. This one right here had a little bit more um, room up top, so thankfully it did not leak. And let's pull it apart and see how it did. It's still gummy towards the edges there. And it's just, it's not dry. Well, it's not what I expected. And the melting point of sugar is 366 degrees. We didn't get anywhere close to that. That's Fahrenheit. Now, that is better. It's still gummy in places towards the outside. Still a little soft. This could work. It probably will work fine, but it's just, well, wow. Okay. Wow, okay. All right. Sugar broke. There you go. That's what <laughs> we're going to call these. You know, and again, Kent has mentioned before that he always just mixes it up, packs them on the hives, and he's done. I don't like these at all for a sugar brick. Now, maybe something went wrong here, but I don't see what could. We did the recipe exactly right. One quarter of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of citric acid. Okay, we did use three um, tablespoons of hive alive instead of honey be healthy, but that should not be affecting it this bad. Um, just three tablespoons. Whatever it is, um, I would just use it maybe as a, a pack on top of the colony. Another thing I'd like to say is um, with any of these recipes you see, for these emergency feeds you put on your bees in winter, Kent, myself, most beekeepers that are using these mixes. I know um, a lady up in Washington uses a recipe that has all kinds of stuff put into it. These beekeepers have mild winters or very little winter at all and the bees can get out and do a cleansing flight. If you're in an area that's getting months where your bees can't get out and fly, you may not want this because it has apple cider vinegar has a lot of cloudy stuff. You know, Bragg's has a lot of cloudy stuff in there. They call it the mother or whatever that kind of stuff is. Um, and you know it's supposed to be good for you but bees don't need that roughage in their guts so if you're going to make something like this with vinegar in it i would strongly recommend you use distilled white vinegar which just like white sugar has been refined and is very clean honestly water and sugar works great for an emergency feed or better yet feed your bees in september um, with some sugar syrup and that's better than any of this stuff we're going to throw this onto a colony and hopefully it won't kill them I don't think it will. It really stinks up your house too. My kids didn't appreciate that. My wife does not appreciate that. <laughs> oh man. Kent, you got me in trouble. Kent's a friend of mine, by the way. I'm not upset. I just got a stove to clean out. And my kids were going from room to room holding their nose because we had these in the oven and the apple cider vinegar and the um, the essential oils out of the um, hive alive we're cooking off of it and whew, hey it's like a Vicks vapor rub on steroids man so here we are over a nice looking hive about seven frame cluster we smoked a lot of bees down having to deal with this and it's falling apart I just don't like it at all right over that cluster mm -mm, that's a lot of food right there like, well, what do we do now? How are we going to get that lid in here and all that jazz? Well, we're going to stick a box over the top of this, one of those insulated covers, and then put a lid back on that doesn't have a hole in it like this one does. And we'll come back and check this out in a week or so. We'll see you in that video. I wanted to talk a little bit about the vinegar and the citric acid. The acid is supposed to help the sugar invert like bees do to nectar it's supposed to help it out a little bit i'm not sure to what extent it does there's a lot of argument on this some people say vinegar is good some say it's bad 
All I know is this recipe is more expensive than I think it should be. It doesn't give me a hard sugar brick like I want that's easy to handle. It's going to stay together. It's real sticky and messy. But I did like the pack method. So if I was going to use this, and from what Ken has told me, that is the method that he uses. We just bring it to a colony, just like in that last video, pack it in, and we're good to go. But I really think... Uh, it's a little overkill. That's just my personal opinion. And the cool thing about beekeeping is there's 400 different ways to do some of these things. Fundamentals really don't change, but how we go about feeding our bees and doing other odds and ends, there's a lot of different techniques. So thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.